This is the prototype for the first all Turkish built flying vehicle. Now it's being built by the Baykar Group and they say that it, it can potentially go into production as soon as later this year. To get an idea about what this vehicle can do, is it safe? Let's speak to Ozan Yarja, who's a project manager for this uh, particular Jazeri uh, flying vehicle. How far can this uh, autonomous vehicle go and how long does it last, like the battery life or the fuel? Okay, this is the Jazeri flying car. Uh, it's an urban air, air transportation concept. We, we project that it's going to fly around one hour and it's going to cover around 50 miles uh, 50 miles of area. So it's very, very good opportunity for uh, crowded cities like Istanbul, maybe New York, Doha. Uh, let Can you show us inside? Tabi, of course. Let, let me show you inside. Seems quite tight. Uh, why don't you get in, Ozan? Yes. This is the one-person pe one uh, version. Uh, we are developing it further. This is engineering development version only. So let's see inside. You snug yourself inside. Yes. This is the command control system. This is the altitude control stick and this is the joystick. And this is the command screen. As you see, pilot only needs to know about these screens. So it's very, very easy to learn. Very easy to learn. But in the future, it's going to fly full autonomously. How safe is it? Well, it's pretty safe. It's going to be pretty safe. It has a double redundant uh, propulsion system and triple redundant uh, flight control system. So it's going to be pre pretty safe. I'll take your word for it. Thank you so much, Ozan. Ozan Yadja, who's a project manager for the Jazeri Autonomous Flying Vehicle. Now, Turkish industry, defense industry, technology industries have been catering largely the defense sector. But with the arrival of vehicles like this for civilian purposes, the industry and Turkey seem to be moving in a new direction.